So previously we have seen how to create a new project using Visual Studio Code, but let's see how to create a new project using Android Studio in this video because it requires some different information. So I thought that I should show you how we can create a new project using Android Studio. So first of all, you need to click on file and you need to click on new. And from here, what you can do is that you can choose new Flutter project. So since I have already created many projects, so that's why you are seeing that I have Android Studio open, but in the installation process, I have shown you that you can, you can click on the new, uh, new Flutter project option from this initial screen as well. Anyway, just click on this option, new Flutter project. And after that, you will see something like this. Here you can see there are multiple options available, Flutter application, Flutter plugin, Flutter package, Flutter module. So in this tutorial, we are going to see how to create a new Flutter application. So we will choose this option. And after that, we need to click on next. And after that, it is asking for some more information. So let me tell you uh, step by step, what is this and why this information is required. So first of all is the project name. So this will be our project name. We can leave it as it is, or we can, uh, you know, change it as we want. So let me change it to hello world Android studio maybe. And secondly, we can choose uh, the Flutter SDK path option. So right now it is not showing that where is Flutter SDK path but you can click on this option and go ahead and enter the Flutter SDK path here. So if you don't know where is the Flutter SDK path, you can always go and find it in the environment variables as well. Or the second way is to open the command line and type this command to find out the path of the Flutter. So I can type where Flutter and it can give us the path of the Flutter installation or Flutter you know source code so i can just right click on it or i can just copy it this and paste it in the android studio option so let me close this and let me copy paste this and after that i can you know move to the next step and next it is asking for the project location i will leave it as default and next it is asking for the description of the project i can leave it as it is if we want so the folder specified as the Flutter SDK home does not exist. So it is asking that uh, the Flutter SDK not exist. So all we have to do, I think we can, if we can remove the bin and Flutter folder, then it will work fine. So you need to give this path, by the way, not bin Flutter path. So now I can click on next option. And in the next screen, it is asking for something called package name. This is very important. The main reason behind creating a new project using Android Studio is that I want to show you the extra information that Android Studio is asking us because this information is also important in terms of mobile apps or projects. So let's see what is the package name. Package name is by the way, is something that uniquely identifies an app on Google Play or App Store. So for example, let me show you the URL of my application uh, Learn with Shajil and take it as example. So right now you can see this is my application that is available on Google Play. And if I show you the URL of this application, you can see play.google.com and forward slash apps. You can see that there is some something called ID is equals to com dot dot learn with Shajil. So each application has a unique, you can say identifier or the string. This is something called package name. So each application that is published on Google Play or App Store has a unique way of identification. So on Google Play, that is package names and we can differentiate one app from other applications via package names. So that's why we each time we we want to create a new product or each time we want to publish a new application, we need to make sure that the package name of the new application is different from the already published package names. So you need to make sure 
there. So let's go into the Android Studio again. And here we can see that it is automatically suggesting that the package name should be com dot dot hello world Android Studio. So com dot is basically I have created many projects using uh, Android Studio. That's why it is you know recognizing that I should suggest this package name. And secondly, this is our product name. So it automatically picked up via the product name that we just specified. So usually we name the uh, package name in in this way that we pick up our domain and put it into the reverse order so for example my domain name is gleveldel.com but reversing this we will get com.gleveldel. so and at the end we usually put the name of the product so if you visit any application on google play you will find out that each application has a unique you know package name and we need to do that anyway i think now you can understand what i am trying to convey and at the bottom of this we have two options platform channel language so to develop android application we we can use two languages one is the java and second is the kotlin and if you want to create the flutter product and if you want to specify that the android product created during this process should use kotlin then you can check this otherwise you can uncheck it and secondly if you want to develop ios apps we can use two languages right now the one is the objective c and second is swift so right now android studio is asking us which language will we will integrate when creating these products most of the time in my projects when i am creating a new flutter product i uncheck th this option because i want the android product to be in java language so that's why because i am much more comfortable with java programming language right now so i will click on finish button and it this will go ahead and create a new flutter project for us and now it is asking us that should we open this product in this window or new window so i can click on this window and this will open up the project as you can see so the main conclusion is that when we create a new project using visual studio code it does not ask for all these information just like the package name etc but when we create a new product using android studio it asks for extra information there is another way to create a new product and that is using the command line tool using that we can specify the uh, package name and also the language preferences as just we have done in the android studio while creating the flutter project that's it from this tutorial and in the next tutorial we are going to learn what is the product st structure of the newly created flutter project if you like this video then make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel this thing will motivate me to create more better tutorials in future and publish them on this youtube channel see you in the next video